Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In this video I wanted to answer a couple of questions for you guys that I get asked so much. Is my hair real? Yes, real expensive. No, um, I wear extensions and I've always been pretty vocal and upfront about it. I wear extensions. I like extensions. I think they're easier to take care of and in the long run are a better economic investment. The one that I'm currently wearing is a unit from wowafrican.com. I usually always buy my hair online from different websites and right now I'm really loving Wow African. They kind of specialize in hair that's supposed to be similar to African texture so they're really good on making really natural looking wigs. This one is the Italian Yaki Brazilian hair so it's supposed to still be like virgin Brazilian hair dyeable and all of that but it has an Italian Yaki texture which is supposed to be more coarse and close to African hair texture. It's kind of interesting because I know a lot of Italians and their hair is like this but whatever. I also get a lot questions what is the difference between full lace what's the difference between front lace what's the difference between a regular wig basically it depends on the cap construction a full lace wig is a wig where you have a lace cap and they attach strands of hair individually onto the wig and so in the end you'll be able to do a lot more styles you'll be able to make parts everywhere in the wig and it's gonna look really realistic it's gonna look like your hair on your head it's the kind of thing that Beyonce wears you know the really good wigs um, then you have below that the front lace wig and the front lace wig only has that kind of thing in the front whereas in the back it's gonna be more tracks this is a front lace wig so as you can see the front of it is parted the front of it works and then in the back you have tracks and somebody would say well why would you buy a front lace wig instead of a full lace wig, well that's because of, obviously a front lace wig is cheaper. For example, this wig that I got from Wow African, it was $289 in the end. To have it in this texture, this length and everything, the length is 18 inches so not too long but also not, not short. Um, to get it with this one, it was $289. So if you calculate how much you're going to pay somebody to put a weave in your head, how much you're going to pay to buy the actual hair, I think $289 is around what you would pay anyways. And so it's kind of easier, in my opinion, to just get a wig than sit around for 12 hours waiting for somebody to do your hair. Because I was there. I used to do that. And the last wig is like the general wig that you could get from like AliExpress or something like that. Those are what you have like the typical costume wigs and I think that's what people have in their mind when you usually talk about wigs but I don't really know anybody that wears those kinds of wigs other than for costume because they are called costume wigs for a reason. So if you want to look into wearing wigs I wouldn't suggest buying one of those. There are other starter wigs. How did I dye my hair? If it's a wig I have a video to that and I'm going to link it. People ask a lot of questions about my real natural hair as well. They ask how long is my natural hair? What does my natural hair look like? Well let me try to find you guys a picture. My natural hair looks like this. My natural hair is the typical afro um, hair. I have 4C texture, texture a real 4C. Um, it's pretty, um, I don't want to say it's impossible to manage, but for sure it's easier for me to just braid it and wear wigs. In terms of length, let's see, I could, I have my hair in braids underneath this, so let me see if I can reach in there and grab you guys a braid, yeah, grab you guys a braid. And my real natural hair, this is a braid of my natural hair, is down to my collarbone. Can you see that? Yeah, it's around collarbone line. Like I said, I just prefer wigs because they're easier and that's why I don't really wear my real hair out. But maybe one day when I'm like 30 and trying to search for myself, I'll go natural. I mean, I'm already natural underneath this. My hair is not chemically relaxed or anything like that. It's just hair. Well, what I do with my hair at night is I take the wig off as wigs should be taken off. I put it on a nice little wig head and I wrap my hair up in um, a silk cap. I wash my hair about once a week, uh, once every two weeks actually, because if you are familiar with Afro hair, you know that it's obviously not like Caucasian hair. It's um, If you were to wash our hair every day, it would get damaged. It would be 
it's not it's not necessary and it's not healthy because for us our hair is very very dry very very brittle and to constantly put it under water would just rob it of its natural oils and stuff and so you need to wash it not so often where it's kind of the contrary to Caucasian hair which as you sweat during the day your hairs have a lot of oils and it gets greasy the more you go on so you guys need to wash your hair more frequently than we do. I wash the wig more often than I wash my real hair. I wash the wig like once a week, I try. All the wigs that I wear are 100% human hair, so I'm able to heat them, I'm able to dye them, I'm able to do whatever I want to them. It's kind of a bit more expensive, but that's what you pay for the freedom and versatility to be able to do what you want to do. So I think those are the most frequently asked hair questions. I think I covered them all. If I didn't, feel free to comment them down in the comment section, and I will try to get back to everybody pretty much it for this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and be sure to check out wow african because they have a great selection of hair wigs they have free shipping over 89 dollars shipping is super fast and they ship internationally so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it a bit informational and i will see you guys in my next one mm -hmm.